Rio Cashmere Keeper boots this one across midfield. Headered back that way. No, headered back this way. Pinball caught on the knee to the foot and kicked and in. That ball never touched the ground. It went keeper to keeper. Hot potato style saying up and Crizo, six foot five. He's got to be tall as hell. Teammates on his back. Amazing goal. You guys missed that. That's something you missed that you never planned on watching. And this is everything you missed that you never planned on watching. It's brought to you by Inside Boxing Live, hosted by our very own Dan Canobio. So here we go. Boom, ba boop, boop, boop. Very special first segment. It is the first ever Things You Missed Remote. Producer Rob and myself went to the World Championship sumo match at the Prudential Center and took it all in. We sat basically right on the mat. Check it out. We're sitting mat side as close as you can get. World Championship sumo championship matchup. We got the Big Bear versus Sandstorm. This is going to be a battle. See if anyone pulls out some moves because I think neither can push Ladies each other around. The best of three battles will I don't know who's going to win. I think Sandstorm. But I'm rooting for it. Big, Big Bear won me over in the semis. Okay. Bears are. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. Bears down. He's right here. I don't even know what happened. He tried to side swipe him. Oh, the sock, dude. He slipped. Bears got to lock up. He can't try a swim move again. Blew up in his face. Staring at him. Smoldering look. It's friendly and intimidating at the same time. Okay. Oh. oh, he's going for it. Oh, I think that was his big push. Locked up. Oh, Bear went for another push. Didn't work. Oh, he's biting his ear. What the fuck? Oh, Bear goes for a third push. It doesn't work. Oh my goodness. Catching their breath. Oh, he's got him on the rope. Come on, Bear. Oh my goodness. Holy shit. I don't know how Bear can win it at this point. Oh my god, that's two beach whales, tired men. Oh, they gotta do it again. That was awesome. For all the marbles. Oh, the photographer across the way is saying his card is full. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> Grabbing the GoPro as his replacement. Wow. Uh, I have no idea how much of that is showmanship or how much is. That feels like showmanship. One more. One more. I got Big Bear. He's like come from behind a lot. Uh oh. Sandstorm's gonna try to. Oh man, so much sweat flew off of him. Oh no. Oh! Bear went for something tactical. Oh no! Oh wow! Look at that dude! Is that his wife? Oh man, he's so sweaty. I don't know if you can hug that. You can find more videos from our time at the Sumo at the More John Boy channel. I believe we're going to post a fuller vlog there. And shout out to World Championship Sumo and the Prudential Center for having us. Sold out arena, 5,400 people. It was an awesome environment. Very fun. Let's keep it going. 
San Jose State was up 11 nothing in the bottom of the fifth, but UC San Diego said, let's just try hitting the ball all over the place. Here we go. Base is loaded. Should be inning-ending double play, but he doesn't flip to his teammate. Goes for the tag, which makes him way late on the throw. Maybe could have turned two. Ended the inning there. Still had a nine-run lead, but instead it continues, and UC San Diego says, let's just keep putting the ball in play. Ooh, or get hit. Good things are happening. They put up eight runs in the bottom of the fifth inning. So now it goes from 11 to 0, 11 to 8. Tying run on second base now, and he's going to take off. Pitcher's like, wait, hold up. Where are you going? Steps off, checks on him, balk. Can't be balking like that. The runner says, that's right. That's what I do. Gotcha. Pitcher's like, what? What did I do? So now the tying run is on third base. Coach comes out, says, what, do you, what did he do? He said, well, he balked. Okay. He was standing there, and then... He balked, and that's about all I can explain is he was standing on the mound. The runner took off. He balked. It's okay. He gets the next batter out, so he's two outs away. The tying run on third doesn't mean, oh, no. Wild pitch to the next batter, and that tying run that he balked to third scores. So now the game is tied. That's not good. The go-ahead run is now on third base, and... Swing and a miss. Okay. Strike one. Not bad. Let's keep going. Now watch what the batter does. The batter acts like he's getting in the box, doesn't get in the box. The pitcher never looks at him. The pitcher gets set, looks up, sees that the batter's not there, says, oh, you're not ready? I'll step off. Oh, bro. Balk. What you doing? Batter's like, gotcha, sucker. Might not have been on purpose. Uh, So that was a balk the tying run to third. He scores on a wild pitch. Balk the go-ahead run home to give San Diego the lead. Not the best series of events. And you see San Diego, they're loving it. I mean, they did get a ton of hits. They came back in a conventional way. And in the ninth inning, they locked down the win. Wild game for the Sands. Championship series in the PLL, the Boston Cannons up against the Philadelphia Water Dogs. The Water Dogs have the lead. 40 seconds left. They just got to hold him. Number 32 in Reds got the ball. He just charges forward, scores. Tie game. Cannons. What's going on? Where's the D? He just charged in. They said, did he go over the crease? They checked it. No. He released the ball before he went over the crease. The referee says, don't doubt us ever again. We got it right. Let's go, Cannons. Cannons fan for life, that kid. The Cannons got beat by the Water Dogs by 10 goals in the round robin. And here they are tied in overtime, but look what DeLuca does. The goalie for the Water Dogs. Save. Save on the rebound. Playing out of his mind. Takes the ball behind the net. Gets rid of it. Don't dump all that adrenaline, DeLuca. Don't dump the adrenaline. Keep it going. The Cannons get the ball. They're charging forward again. Two minutes and a half left in OT. Number 20 winds up. Shot, but the rebound is loose. Goalie tracking the runner. Tracking the guy behind the net. Oh, back door. Or like kind of like in front of him for the win. Number 50, Kavanaugh puts it in. And the Cannons are your PLL Championship Series winners. The coach loves it. Yeah. So does that little kid, probably. This image is the result of a huge crash at the UAE Tour of Liwa. And look at all these bikes going around that cul-de-sac with the little castle in the middle. Cool scenes. And then it's going to be not that cool of scenes. Huge crash. And look at the guy I have highlighted in yellow. He's going to cut across this entire field of bikes Everyone else is trying to go to the right, and he's trying to go to his left, which is the right of our screen, and he cuts across. I don't think he caused any damage, but he cut across everyone right in front of all that damage. Uh, Everyone's trying to go to the other side, and they just, that grouping right dead center of the screen, they bunch up, and you can see one tire down there sideways. That guy falls. He rolls, throws his bike into the guy to the right of the yellow screen. You can see behind the guy in the yellow, that there's a guy rolling, throws his bike. You know, he just flips over into the guy in aqua on the right of your screen. He falls into the guy on the far right. They go crashing into the wall. And then all the way on the far left of screen, you got another dude who's off his bike crashing the wall. So the bookends are just up upended. And then everyone falls and Bad times at the UAE Tour of Liwa. They had to ambulance some people down, but good times for Tim Merlier. Tim Merlier, I don't know how you pronounce it. There he is. Excited. 
because he made himself a move. Caught a stream, took first, tongue out victory. Yeah. Does that look like a guy who's got a bunch of injured people behind him? He doesn't even know. All right, there you have it. That was everything you missed that you never planned on watching. Thank you very much for tuning in. And we have the fan of the week vote accordingly. And thank you once again to World Championship Sumo and the Prudential Center for having us out. That was a ton of fun. If they come to an arena near you, go check it out because it's just kind of like a raucous, wild time. I think everyone there enjoyed it.